we will continue our studies in the book of James. Kasi ang ating uh, Bible study ay series actually, no? Nang, uh, we are just simply studying the book of James one by one. Last time, ang pinag-aralan natin ay tungkol sa temptation. But today, we will be studying about God's goodness. So I will share muna sa screen, no? I will share on the the, the screen uh, our text for the day which can be found in okay can you can you see it on your screen yeah can, yes on the screen mm-hmm. okay i will just uh, uh, what what is this uh, okay so we are in james chapter 1 verses 16 to 19 and the bible says do not be deceived my beloved uh, brothers Our brethren, brothers and sisters, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Of his own will, he brought us forth by the word of truth that we should be a kind of first fruit of his creatures. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? Sabi dito, uh, do not be deceived, huwag kayong magpalinlang. Do not have wrong thoughts about God because actually ang lahat ng magagandang regalo ay galing sa Kanya. At uh, ang Diyos, He is the Father of Lights. Ibig sabihin, Siya ay ilaw. No? Walang pagbabago sa Kanya. He is constant and He is faithful. And finally, in verse 18, of His own will, He brought us forth. Ang ibig sabihin nito na... Tayo nga naligtas ng dahil sa kanyang kalooban sa pamamagitan ng gospel, the word of truth, upang maging ano, first fruits of his creatures. Ibig sabihin, maging kanya. I will explain in a little while what is the meaning of the word first fruits. But, okay, I, this will just be a short devotional. First of all, I think you can see it in your screen, no? Ang ating introduction na kalagay dyan. Don't be deceived, sabi ng Bible. What does that mean? Sometimes we harbor thoughts about God that dishonor and displease Him. We have to disabuse our minds of these wicked thoughts. This means dapat we should not have wrong thoughts about God. Now, last time, we learned that God is not the author of sin. He is not the one who tempts us. So, Ibig sabihin, huwag nating isipin na ang ating Diyos ay masama. On the contrary, He is good. Oh, why did we say that? Because sabi dito sa verse 17, balik tayo sa verse 17, Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above coming down from the Father of lights. Every good and perfect gift is from God, which shows na talagang He is good. He is not stingy. Yan, narito sa ating outline. God isn't stingy. On the contrary, He is generous. He gives us gifts. Sabi nga dito sa Bible, oh, dito sa 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 17, As for the rich in this present age, charge them not to be haughty, nor to set their hopes on the uncertainty of riches, but on God who richly provides us with everything to enjoy. If ever there are things that we are enjoying in our life, Whether it is a nice house, whether it is cars, good food, a happy family, whatever it is that is good that we are enjoying, it's all because of God. Kasi sabi dito, it is God who richly provides us with everything to enjoy. Lahat ng uh, kaligayahan na maganda ay nanggagaling sa Kanya. At sabi dito, He richly provides. Hindi lang na nagbibigay siya, pero yung pagbibigay niya, overflowing, umaapaw. He is generous. Okay? Every good and perfect gift comes from above. Yan ang first point natin. God isn't stingy. He is generous. Pero marami pa diyang ibang verses, hindi ko na lang uh, babasahin. Number two, God isn't fickle. Ibig sabihin ito, hindi siya nagbabago. On the contrary, He is faithful and constant. He doesn't change. Kasi dito sa ating pinag-aaralan, the Bible says, every good and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights 
with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Hindi siya nagbabago. Sabi dito sa Hebrews 13 verse 8, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Very simple lang ibig sabihin nito. If God was generous in the past, He will be generous in the present, and He will be generous in the future. So that is why we should not be worried. We should not be worried na kukulangin tayo. Because the Bible says, My God will supply all your needs according to His riches in Christ Jesus. God is not fickle. God does not change. God is Generous and He will supply all our needs. He is constant. He is faithful. Which leads us to the third point. <coughs> Bakit nasabi natin, no? Bakit nasabi natin na talagang ang ating Panginoon, He is good. He is really good. He is not the author of sin. He is not the author of temptation. He is not evil. Talagang He is good. Because He has proven it by saving us. Sabi dito sa verse 18 of His own will, He brought us forth by the word of truth. Anong ibig sabihin ito? Ibig sabihin, we are born again. Ipinanganak tayo muli sa pamamagitan ng kanyang magandang balita. We were born again by means of the gospel of salvation, which He gave to us for us to receive. He gave us the gift of salvation. That's why we are children of God. That's why we are born again. And that is the proof that God, sabi dito sa last point natin, God isn't evil. On the contrary, He is good. Okay. Anong ibig sabihin ng first fruits? The first fruits, this is the first fruits of the harvest which you offer to God. For example, sa may mga pamilya dito sa Negros na alam ko na yung panganay binibigay nila sa Panginoon na maging pastor. Of course, syempre, uh, that's still the decision of the child. Pero they really pray to God when that first uh, when that first uh, son is born panganay na anak ang ginagawa ng christian family is that they pray to god lord we dedicate this first fruits the first son we dedicate him to you to become a pastor because uh, he belongs to you yun ang ibig sabihin ng first fruits so ibig sabihin ng panginoon dito he is really good because he made us belong to him The first fruits belong to God. Ganon din sa tithing, di ba? The first fruits belong to God. The, the 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 first tenth of your income belongs to God. The first son belongs to God. Pero dito, if you are born again, all of us who are born again, we are first fruits. We belong to God, and that really proves that proves the goodness of God.